Hi, I'm Russ Jeffers from MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com and here I have the HTC Hero. I'm just going to quickly take it out of the box to uh, show you what we get inside. Uh, this is just a sample unit, but um, we can expect just about the same contents in the final sales package in a slightly different box. Uh, as you can see, we've got the white version of the device, which is uh, going to be available on T-Mobile in the UK and named the G2 Touch. Uh, there will be a black version available as well from the Orange Network in the UK uh, around about the same time. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few other bits and pieces in here, such as a white charger to match the device. And imagine you get a black charger in with the uh, brown version, though. Um, as I say, this one's with the white one. Although we have got a black uh, adapter for the UK, which doesn't actually fit with this, so it's uh, been incorrectly placed in the box. But you can expect a white one uh, with the final sales version that fit in there nicely. Uh, USB charger, so use the USB cable to charge it as well. Uh, USB to mini USB, which plugs straight into the mini USB EXT USB port, uh, HTC's own port, uh, on the bottom there. Um, it can also be used for data uh, and synchronizing with the computer and such. Uh, we also have some white headphones. Again, I'd imagine you probably get black ones with the uh, brown version. Uh, I've got some little foam earbuds in there and a little clip for the uh, microphone, which is mounted in the middle of the headset here. As you can see, we've got controls for the um, for the music player and then a microphone on the other side. Uh, headphones don't look the best quality, they feel a bit cheapy but they do look at least uh, quite nice. Uh, and most importantly, uh, a 3.5mm audio jack. Uh, this is the first HTC device with a 3.5mm audio jack in it, uh, audio port, sorry. Uh, so you can plug any normal headphones into there even if you don't want to use the HTC ones that they've been provided. Um, as you can see here we've got a nice 3.2 inch capacitive touch screen uh, it's a HVGA screen as used on the Magic as well uh, and a roller ball that you've seen on the Magic as well um, we've also got a 5 megapixel camera on the back this time which is an upgrade from the Magic's 3.2 megapixel camera that we saw before uh, and we've got usual connectivity such as HSDPA GPS and Wi-Fi and things like that so you can uh, use sat nav and internet and such uh, it looks a very nice device uh, but nice uh, large battery in the back as I can show you now just uh, whip the back cover off here you can see we've got uh, quite a large battery uh, again black, they don't seem to uh, do those in white uh, and also a micro SD slot on the side here which uh, we had pre-installed with a 2 gigabyte SanDisk card uh, as you can see but you can obviously extend that up to maybe 16 or 32 gig uh, as you want to ex expand the storage even further um, but it's a pretty nice handset so far so good, uh, we've been testing it just for the day and it uh, seems very nice, very intuitive uh, system as we saw back at the HTC event a while ago. Uh, as you can see, nice touch based user interface uh, with various things like email and Twitter and such and your weather. Um, All together, it's a very nice handset, we'll get a review up for you very soon. Uh, so please check back soon to Android Authority and MobileBurn.com. Thank you.